Hi, everybody. This is Reverend Kit Holmes. It is Wednesday. That means it is time for One Mind Wednesday. I truly hope that you can hear the audio on this today. I am in Manistee, Michigan. I am standing outside the historic Ramsdell Theater. And um, today my post is called Connecting the Dots. A week from Friday, March 22nd, I will be here at the Ramsdell Theater. Um, I'm going to show you the, uh, the poster. It's a little, there's a little reflection. Oh, there I am. Look, look, it looks, it looks like me. Oh, right there. <laughs> looks like me. I'll be in concert on the 22nd. And the thing that I wanted to talk about in connecting the dots is that when we are working on our manifestation skills, oftentimes we are, um, we might be a little frustrated when things are not coming to fruition as we think that they should in the timing that we think that they should. So the idea here, this is like finessing. This is finessing our consciousness around the type of things. It's, it's having focus. It's knowing when to let go and let God or let the higher power or whatever, whatever you might want to call it. That's the way that my concert ended up here. It was something from a few years ago that I had in mind it would be awesome. It's this cool little place on site. I'll probably show it next, uh, next Wednesday. Um, and it was a thought in mind, but I didn't push it, and I didn't struggle with it, and I just say, oh, this has got to happen. This has got to happen. And before the holidays uh, in 2023, actually, I think it was around the first part of November, um, I was out and about and went to uh, an art opening with a friend's art opening, just thinking, you know, I had all kinds of other things to do, and something was saying, go, just go, just go, 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 go. So I did. I listened. And I went to the art opening and there were uh, several people that I knew. And it was like that moment people walked in the door and they started asking me about my music and when you're going to play here and when you're going to do this and when you're going to have this kind of stuff. And then somebody who I'd never met before just came up to me. We were talking about art. We were talking about all kinds of things. I was talking about the, the 2024 calendar that I did, the collaborative piece that I did with my partner, the um, As You Are, You Are Enough 2024 calendar. And this person just said to me, hey, I've got tickets to the Ramsdale tonight to a concert. Do you want to go? And I said, I, I've got to finish up a, a, a proposal on a project that I was doing. If I get it done, which I intended to get it done, um, I said, can I text you and see if the ticket's still available if somebody hasn't taken it? And she said, sure, no worries. So I went and I took care of what I needed to take care of. And I texted her. She said, come to the show. Okay, great. So we meet up. And it was one of those moments where... You start meeting people. It was a continuation of what had happened at the art gallery. And at the end of and the concert, I was out in the hallway, in the lobby, and the uh, the director of the Ramsdale said, hey, it's been a great, it's good to see you, it's been a while, and so and so and so forth, had a conversation. And I was walking walking out of the theater, and, and you know, several minutes later, and I heard behind me, I think a Kit Holmes concert at the Ramsdale would be a fantastic idea. And I turned around and I said, yes, I think that would be a really fantastic idea. So what came about was this concert, which is um, in celebration of um, Women's History Month. March is Women's History, him, Women's History Month. <laughs> and the concert is called Cele Elevate and Celebrate. And it's, it's me, just me doing this concert. So what I knew in that moment was all of the things aligned everything aligned and i the, the reason that it came to fruition and i connected the dots is because i said yes i said yes to the intuition to go to the event at the art gallery and from that moment forward everything unfolded perfectly and beautifully so that's my personal story of how this stuff works because like you like many people i know i get frustrated too i want things now doggone it <laughs> <laughs> it needs to happen right away when I have a thought in mind. And I know there is a process and there is a divine timing to all of it. So that's my encouragement with you today. And I also just want to offer this as well. I coach that kind of encouragement. So if you are ready for lasting change, you want to know a little bit more about how to finesse these things. And work on our consciousness so that we are ready, we're prepared, we are in vibration, we are in resonance with those things that are unfolding for our favor and for our highest expression. So hit me up, send me an email, the email's in the um, description of this post, 
Thank you for sharing One Mind Wednesdays. Thank you for all of your comments and the way that you reach out to me and support me. I love you all dearly. So remember that, connecting the dots. We are all part of that one mind. All the dots are there. They're happening in divine timing. We do our part. We say yes. Things go really, really well. So I love you all dearly, as I already said. Still going to say it again. One Mind Wednesdays, we're all part of the one mind, which means we are all in this together. So kindness matters, and love is indeed the only answer. I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye.